Hey everyone, Chrissy here for Thermal Web, and these four cards were created with the brand new Gina K designs created exclusively for Thermal Web. It's the holiday collection. So here you can see two of the cards that I created previously. Now we're gonna make two more, and I'm gonna show you how to use the negative foil after we do some lamination. So I took a piece, this is a new foil mate. I have two of them here. The one that I'm putting some powder on right now just because I had touched it with my greasy little hands. Um, it was it's from the Holiday Flora foil mate. So I'm just putting that into some parchment paper and I'm covering it with the radiant red foil. That's the fancy foil. It is so incredibly pretty. And then these I just trimmed out from the Tag Tidings foil mates and I put some uh, powder on there too. That's not required, it's just I had lotion on my hands so um, if you have too much lotion or anything on it could stop the foil from adhering. So um, I also die cut that using the coordinating dies and here you can see how beautiful that is after we run it through our laminator. Now I'm going to show you how to use your negative foil. So take a piece of uh, toner, toner paper, toner sheets. I, this one's peel and stick. You can get a non peel and stick. I prefer the peel and stick because it's easier for card making. And just go ahead and cut it to what you want and then place that negative right on there because we still have a lot of foil left over. Even though we use part of it, we can keep using it. So um, my paper is actually cut to three and three quarters by five. Throw it in the parchment paper and throw it in your laminator. And while that is going through the laminator, I am just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a little bit more color to this. I'm sticking with some traditional Christmas colors this time. Um, I just added a little bit of the green ink. Um, this is not one of the holiday inks. This is just the regular Gina K ink that came out in the spring and it's fabulous because it can all coordinate. It still works, that's great. So you can see that, um, that Foil came out, I put more foil over it and ran it through my laminator again. So now I have um, two pieces of cardstock that have foil on them, custom backgrounds, that I got from one foil mate and one piece of foil. And then a half, because then I have that green left over and I can go ahead and do the same thing over and over again. It's like this vicious cycle, it never ends. But it's fantastic because then you can keep stretching your supplies. So I just went and with that first foil mate that did not have the adhesive on the back, I just went and I added some 3D foam squares on there to give a little dimension to my card base. And that is the Gina, Gina K black card stock that I used. And now that was one of the, the little tags that I die cut that I showed earlier. Um, I used the sparkling silver foil. And I should mention that green foil that I used earlier is actually called glittering green. And though it is different than the green ink, I feel it still all works together. Um, so like I said, everything still kind of coordinates. And I mean, honestly, you can probably use any of the inks at Christmas time because who doesn't love like turquoise and purple Christmas? I know I do. So you can see that um, I just added a little bit of red ink to the foil. Um, I, or I should say to the tag, I just wanted it to pop out a little bit. It's not required. I just thought it would give it a little bit of oomph to my card. So now that is that background we created using the negative foil onto the toner with more foil. So you can see it's like the exact reverse of the other one. I think it's beautiful. I think it's absolutely fantastic that there's this option to do that. You can really stretch your foil. So same thing, um, I just went and I added some 3D foam squares onto the tag and I'm adhering it now. Um, a great option would be, of course, I thought of this after the video, to use the Gina K ribbon. And you can add ink to the ribbon, you can use the plain white ribbon, the black ribbon, whatever you wanna do. Um, that would look absolutely stunning, I think, with those tags. So then to finish everything off, I decided to add a few little sequins on there. So I'm just using my Duckle Foil liquid adhesive. And I just kind of put it on, it's like a, a piece of, it's like slick paper. It's leftover paper from 3D foam squares that I used all of them. And I just kind of keep that off to the side so I can dip my sequins into it and use tweezers to kind of put them onto my card. That way I get the exact right amount of adhesive every time. I don't have too much, I don't have too little, and we're all set. See how, how beautiful and shiny is that? So I'm gonna give you another look at all four of the cards real quick. So I definitely hope you'll give this a try. It will work on any of our foil mates, not just Christmas ones. So make sure you follow us on Facebook and use hashtag DecoFoil. Have a great day.